What's up, guys? So I have a Poco F6 with me currently, and uh, as you know that uh, there is a lot of issue going on in the community. A lot of guys are getting boot looped uh, coming from MicroOS 2 to OSP. Uh, I mean, we have two steps: either you flash the firmware, then you flash the ROM. But here, I will tell you the exact way of uh, how to move from MicroOS 2 to MicroOS 1 first. Then you can move to OSP. And we are not using the stock ROMs, guys. We'll be using a light. And I am on this uh, HyperOS China version guys. So practically what we will be doing is we will be I mean, flashing the HyperOS 1 room via fastboot. Uh, that will clear a lot of uh, misconceptions going on that if you flash HyperOS 2 your device will break and all. Nothing such happens guys. This is just bogus. So yeah that's what I am saying yeah. Careful guys you have to go to fastboot. You can do it via CMD or anything. But I will do it via... Api. If you are having api, you can directly do it. Just click on uh, bootloader and your device will go into fastboot. Just wait, it will boot. Yeah. Make sure to use the original cable guys. Don't use any other cable. And uh, here, just have to check the command with Firefox devices so that your device is being detected. Then just nothing guys. You just have to run this Windows fastboot install update. Yeah, that's it. I'll show you guys. Do you want to format data and external storage? Click yes. Uh, yes is all I mean obviously better and it will start doing its job nothing to worry make sure that you don't uh, remove the cable accidentally so just be stable for uh, 5 to 10 minutes and it will do its job automatically that's how we will be successfully moving from HyperOS 2 to HyperOS 1 and once you're in HyperOS 1 you can move to AOSP any ROM you won't be facing any issues with boot loops I mean uh, what hard break, soft break, whatever the drama that's going on. Okay, just no need to flash the firmware. It's uh, just flash HyperOS 1 and uh, use it for 2-3 days or just, I mean, after setup you can obviously uh, what, flash it uh, once again. Uh, so, it's up to you anyways, but I wanted to try the last build of HyperOS 1 of a light and this is the free build guys, this is not the paid build. So, I will be giving a review, but I will not include, uh, I mean, Genshin HSR because I will be using it with the stock kernel. I will not be using with other kernels. So, only max to max we can give PUBG Mobile, probably. That's what I am uh, thinking. So, yeah, that will be on another video. So, yeah, stay tuned for the video. Yeah. So, guys, sending Super has started. It will, uh, I mean, take some time, especially like around uh, two to three minutes so be patient nothing to worry guys so yeah and guys i do have more trust in these mod rooms instead of stock rooms because stock rooms gave me a horror someday like when it was uh, okay i'll not uh, i mean speak now let it complete i'll tell just wait so guys we're in the poco logo and uh, let me tell what was the issue in uh, stock room when i was flashing so guys it was failing while sending super uh, that created a nightmare for me that day uh, I had uh, to flash project, I mean, remix. So, yeah, I mean, what I will say is that uh, stay away from stock rooms. Just flash these uh, whatever rooms you have, like Eli, uh, remix and all. Uh, we have project flame also, but I haven't used project flame. So, I can't say, I mean, much about it. But, uh, yeah, you can see that Eli hyper logo is already there. We have already booted. Uh, just uh, waiting for uh, it to show up. It will take a few seconds, I guess, or under one minute, probably. So, guys, that's how easy it is uh, to move from HyperOS 2 to HyperOS 1. Just uh, download the Elite uh, 1.0.18 file, or you can go for the Indian uh, file, uh, though the Indian one is a two month old one. This is one of February, so I have thought of using this. Uh, this is the last HyperOS build of the Chinese beta. Uh, it's just not better it's stable so yeah yeah we'll just set it up and we are ready to go i'll be using it for a week max guys then i'll move to other rooms like cr droid evo x all those rooms that you see but yes i'll give it some time so yeah peace so guys we have seen previously how we easily uh came back to hyperos 1.x from 2.x now we'll be moving to osp I'll include this in a single video and my review will be also coming for this LR HyperOS. Though it's okay. I mean, yeah. Uh, if you're using Wi-Fi, it drains more. So, that will not be added. 
anyways uh, now let's flash so make sure to remove your gmail accounts and uh, screen locks and everything so yeah so first step is guys you have to move your device to fastboot and then you can go and read all these steps but we will be going through all of them phoenix does not give uh, vendor boot he only gives roam and recovery so if you are coming from hyper os to aosp your touch will not work but uh, it's possible with power buttons just do as i'm doing always check this command first guys that your device is being detected or not if not then install drivers then guys the first command will be fastboot flash recovery then space then drag and drop the recovery file then just reboot to recovery this is the command you'll use guys fastboot reboot recovery and you can see guys i am in recovery uh, yes touch will not work as uh, dev does not give uh, vendor boot so you have to use the i mean volume buttons we'll use the volume button and it is now on install update then the power button to confirm it and then adb side load so once again the power button to confirm it and then side load is on just need to side load and yeah this is the command guys adb side load uh, this this and it will start doing its job you can see here it has started now wait until it is at 47% so yeah just wait so guys we are at 47% and then you will get a pop up that uh, do you want to install additional package uh, we don't want to install additional package just use the power button and uh, you will be there only your installation has been completed and as per the script you just have to do factory reset and reboot that's it so let's go and do a factory reset how you will do it use the volume buttons guys uh, we're in factory reset use the power button uh, yeah it's automatically selected so yeah this includes internals okay fine cancel it selected we'll go to format data use the power button and you will see that formatting has been success now how do i go back as touch is not working i'm sure touch is not working because it doesn't give vendor boot if the dev is giving vendor boot guys touch will work yes i'm sure of it so yeah accordingly and once that's done just reboot to system that's how you flash aosp and we already have the derp logo so this time i'll be testing with uh, is is kernel and we have the rk kernel to test as well i'll uh, leave the rk to a ca droid build and uh, for now we'll just go with is is kernel so yeah see you guys peace we are booted so yeah